And the Lenny Cat project started in 1994, so it's, we've been going 21 years now. And back then, uh, my late mother, Ida Nell, um, started the whole project. Uh, she always had a passion for cats, especially for cheetah. Because of the numbers of cheetah declining rapidly in Africa, um, there is a need for people to help the cheetah to survive, to create uh, breeding centers for cheetah. Um, from where cheetah then can be replaced back into the wild. Uh, you guys should also know then that the cheetah is the fastest land mammal on earth. Right? These guys can quite easily reach speeds of about 100, 112 kilometers an hour. If you guys take a close look at the cat, you'll see it's quite streamlined. It's very fragile and these guys are only built with speed. They also say that the tail weighs slightly more than the spine, which means that their tail can now also be used as a counterweight. A female cheetah could quite easily have about five to six cups in a litter. But unfortunately today on average only two to three normally survive. Cheetah project, um, people in our area that come to know that we look after um, animals and especially cats uh, started bringing us initially uh, serval cats, which is indigenous to our area. Yeah? And being a pineapple farming area, Shui, and when the farmers are plying up those fields, um, sometimes they find baby serval cats that we hand reared, raised, and Release now a lot of serval cats back into the wild, especially in the Sindusha wetland areas, um, the the game reserve. A favorite individual cat on this project is probably going to be one of the serval, Cassidy. He's one of the ones that were born here and then slowly but surely domesticated. So he now stays in the project for breeding and interaction purposes. I mean, I form kind of like a close bond with him, um, so I can go any time into the enclosure and he'll approach me. Well, I can sit on the floor and he'll sit on my lap, pretty much like a domestic cat. Well, for its size, it's considered to be a very, very strong cat. So they're capable of jumping out of like four or five meters. The highest recorded jump was 6.5 meters. African market. Most people look at it and uh, the first impression they get about it is 
just let's just let my house get. Uh, what people don't actually realize is that our modern day house cats descended from wild cats. African wild cats were first domesticated in Egypt. That was about 7500 BC. Mm -hmm. 